As it's, hey guys, it's Chris Mitchell. I am uh, showing you today how to do a color separation in Illustrator. I found that the, uh, the tutorial in Adobe's website is kind of confusing. So uh, since I'm really kind of stupid and I like to make these tutorials for myself when I forget how to do something, I figured if it helps you out, I'd love to show you. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this. Um, I've got to want to create this as a spot color because let's say I'm going to print this on a t-shirt and I want this color and this color to be separated as a postscript file. Um, I've went ahead and created this, uh, this color of my choice. And then I've got this color. If you see, I've got this over here. This actually is a spot color. If I, if I go to my, uh, color palette here and I click on, let's just say create new swatch, I can see that it's a spot color and that it's mode is RGB. Now that's important because if you notice right now, if I go to my document color mode, I'm in RGB and this is actually important. You want to make sure that the color mode of what you're doing and what you're creating, the color that you're creating is in the same color mode that you're actually working in. So this is just a spot color I created earlier and I, I wanted kind of a true black look, a very dark black. And let's go ahead and create the other one as a true black too. I'm going to go ahead and take this and you can see that uh, it's not, the color I've created is not really a true black down here. Um, actually going to get, oops. I'm going to go ahead and create this black right here. Ah, if I can separate it, let's see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and click that as a true black. And then I'm going to go ahead and click the outlines as a true black for this. You saw that it got darker. I'm going to move my net back. Of course, I could center it if I wanted to, but I'm just going to do it manually for today. So now that I've got this separated, um, and I've got both of my blacks the same as a spot color. That's great when you've got a spot color to find, but what about when you want to create a spot color? Well, I've got this wonderful, nice uh, looking color that I have here that, that I don't have as a spot color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my color palette again here, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new swatch. And what you want to do, instead of process color, you want to create it spot color. So what if I just change that to... Uh, We'll just, call, we'll just call that nice ivory, just for right now. I want to make sure it's a spot color and then RGB, and click OK. Now you see that it popped up over here in my library. So I've got that now as a spot color. My black was already a spot color. Now I want to change this to that same nice ivory. All I have to do is click it at this point. So now I should, according to my document, I should only have two colors in here. I should have the nice ivory and then of course the RGB black. So what we're going to do, and this part's crucial, you want to go to File, Print. You want to go to your Adobe Postscript file. And then here, you want to go to your Output. And under your Composite, you want to go Separations, Host Base. Now, you can see my two colors I've got down there as Nice Ivory that I just created in RGB True Black. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and save those. I don't know why it's, uh, you know, it says to save, of course. Let's just save it as Devil Cat. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Well, let's take a look. My desktop's a little bit messy. But if I open this up, there's the black. Oh, excuse me. The black will be the actual spot color of the, uh, the nice ivory. And then there's the black. So leaving the space in there. Now you can output, you can overprint black if you want to to create those uh, nice saturations if that's what you want. But now all I have to do is print to my printer and that creates my spot color. So I hope that helped you guys today and uh, I hope that uh, this tutorial has kind of helped you. I know that I'm going to look at it again if I forget how to do it. But again, the main thing is to make sure you're in the same color mode. And I, in my case, I like to use RGB if uh, so it shows up right on my screen. Create the colors, create the spot color, because whatever you use on your press or anything like that is, of course, going to matter at what ink that you put on your press. So anyway, I hope things are going well, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time with this tutorial.